Ersin Tatar has been the Turkish Cypriot president for just six months. But now he's going to Geneva, with the full backing of Turkey, to tell the UN he wants a two-state solution on Cyprus, something the international community has not seriously discussed before. We'll have red lines. Our sovereignty, our independence and our guarantor Turkey are indispensable to us. With this understanding, we are going to Geneva. The last time there were any meaningful talks was in 2017, widely believed to be the closest the two sides have got to an agreement. But one major stumbling block has been how to come up with a formula to safeguard the rights of the minority Turkish Cypriots under a unified government. Cyprus has been divided since 1974, when Turkish forces intervened to protect Turkish Cypriots after a coup was staged by Greek Cypriots and the Greek military government of the time to unify the island with Greece. Along with the Turkish and Greek Cypriots, Turkey, Greece and the UK will be at the UN talks. They were all involved in the creation of the state of Cyprus in 1960, so they will have to approve any changes. The Turkish Cypriots and Turkey are pushing for a two-state solution. Greece and the Greek Cypriots want a bi-communal, bi-zonal system. One state, but with areas of control for the two communities, which has been the main basis of UN talks. But the UN also knows it will be difficult to move forward. He will, uh, I mean, the aim, as I said, is to determine whether common ground exists for the parties to negotiate a lasting solution. Um, we will. We hope that the parties come with um, creativity um, to these uh, to this very informal meeting. The UK has traditionally supported the UN framework too, but is also calling for flexibility and compromise. But now, after decades of talks and little progress, plus what is effectively an economic embargo on the Turkish Cypriot community, their new president says it's time to try something new. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World.